Hi there, and welcome to a brief TSM tutorial about crafting queues and professions. So to show this off, I'm going to open up my TSM enchanting here. What we're going to be doing today is uh, a crafting queue I have set up for the illusions. Now, as you can see on my particular server, each illusion is profitable from anywhere from 200 gold to 2000 gold. So. Over here in my TSM groups tab, I already have a crafting queue for my illusions set up. So I'm going to go through and show you what exactly my illusions group looks like. So if I go to my groups here and I go to my enchanting and I look under illusions. You can see that I have all the illusions in here. If we look at my crafting, I have the crafting operation craft 5 with 100g min profit. To show you an example of this is what it looks like. Minimum restock is 1, so that means it will craft 1 at least. And max restock is 5, meaning it will craft up to 5. You enter your minimum profit here make sure you have this checked and if you want you can do some overriding but I don't going back over here uh, you can have sometimes you can have multiple select right click to collapse left click to deselect I'm just going to do my illusions group hit restock selected groups you can see here that I already have four tomes of illusion trainer on my other character but I do not have any Tome of Illusions Pandaria right now. Down here, it shows you what you need to create this craft. So as you can see, I have the green ones. The green items mean that they are already on this character. The yellow ones mean that they're on another character. As you can see up in the tooltip, I have them in one of my guild banks. And then the red ones mean I do not have enough. My profit here is showing that it's going to cost me 17k to craft all of these. And I'm going to have an estimated profit of 15k. So it's not going to quite double my gold, but it's 15k is still a good amount of profit. Now in order for TSM to automate the collection of all of this, you hit gather. You'll see your crafter pop up here. I want to use Tree of Life. The profession is enchanting. You should probably leave all of these unchecked um, unless you know what you're doing. You hit start gathering. It's going to open this little window here. This window will now open on all of your alts, all characters. It's going to tell you where to source all of your materials from. So for me, I'm going to go through and um, I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. So I'm going to log out. And now it's going to tell me what to do, so I have to visit my bank to collect this Vermilion Onyx. What can I do for you? And you just simply hit gather items, it will pull them out from wherever they are. Go to a mailbox. And then all you have to do is select mail items, it will automatically put them in a postage and throw it off. Here I am on my bank character. Um, I'm going to be showing you the buy from AH function that TSM has in here. First I'm going to gather any items that I still need. So all we have to do is we have to open the auction house and then if you go down here and click buy items as you can see it's going to go through and it's going to search for every single way to get heavenly shards. As you can see maelstrom crystals are at an all time low right now. Every maelstrom crystal is two heavenly shards so if you're Maelstrom crystals are less than 
the cost of your heavenly shards, it it's simple logic to buy them and shatter them instead of buying the small heavenly shards, which are usually very overpriced. Or the heavenly shards. So for me here, heavenly shards are going to cost 1.5 gold instead of the 20 gold that they're listed for. Now TSM will also do a disenchant search, and it will search every item that can disenchant, but they're usually more expensive than the raw materials themselves. So if we hit stop here, it will stop the searching, and I know I just want to buy out all of these Maelstrom Crystals that are posted for ridiculously cheap. And now, as soon as you buy the correct amount, TSM will tell you, and then it will move on to the next item. It will always break down this crafting search. It'll always be in crafting search, and it will break down each of the items you need, and it will search for all the sub-items. So right now, this mode of mana is cheaper than the 10 of the primal manas. So I'm going to buy some out to save myself some gold. And if you just keep using your scroll wheel, TSM will automatically give you what you need, and it'll just continue on. Now, for illusion specifically, these Imperial Amethysts and any of the Pandaria gems can easily be found from Trillium Ore. So make sure to check your Trillium Ore is cheaper than whatever you have. And right now, for me, this Trillium Ore is ridiculously expensive, 600% market value. So I'm just going to buy the, the gems themselves. Unfortunately, what TSM does not do is that this immediate crafting th is not implemented yet. They have the button there, but unfortunately the, the add-on doesn't have the features in it. So um, it will not break down any crafts that you make into the smallest parts. So let's say I'm making a nether weave bag. It will tell me to buy netherweave cloth, but it won't tell me to craft the netherweave cloth. It'll just forget that you bought the netherweave cloth and then tell you to buy netherweave bolts instead. Uh, it's apparently a coming feature, the immediate crafting, but it's not in TSM yet, so you do have to watch that and be careful that you're not buying extra items. As you can see here, it's showing me that Caparite is cheaper to buy in Prospect than buying the Wild Jade itself. Um, because right now, the buyout is 66 silver, which is stupid compared to the price of 99 gold. So I'm just going to buy out this Caparite. Apparently, I'm going to buy a lot of it. TSM will automatically try to calculate the probability of you prospecting and getting the gems that you need and then it will tell you to buy that amount. So as you can see even though I needed only a few of the jade crystals I bought a few hundred caparite ore. I am done purchasing all my items. As you can see here it still tells me I need to buy these items even though I'm going to get them from either breaking, breaking down items or um, prospecting. So now that I've collected all my items, you can see here that they're highlighted. All I have to do is ha have the mailbox open and hit mail items. It'll automatically break open the amount of stacks and mail that proper amount of items. Now it still says I need some primal fire, which is because I have to combine these. It still says I need heavenly shards, some primal mana, which is here also. The heavenly shards will come from breaking down the maelstrom crystals, I believe. So now I'm going to manually mail these because TSM, unfortunately, does not catch the fact.
that these are broken down items. The Wild Jade and Heavenly Shards. The Wild Jade I have to send to my Jewel Crafter. Or the, the Caparite I have to send to my Jewel Crafter to prospect. TSM Gathering still tells me I need 20 Heavenly Shards, but you'll see as soon as I open all my mail and then use my enchanting that that will go away. Maelstrom Shatter, I need 20, so I need to do 10 Shatters because you get two Maelstrom Crystals. In the future, I would expect that this type of manual operation will be done in immediate crafting. Now you can see all my items are green. The TSM gathering window has disappeared, and now I can craft all my items. So you simply hit craft next, and it will go through your queue. Unfortunately, because of Blizzard's anti-botting rules, you do have to hit craft next for each and every one of these. Alright, and here's my last illusion crafted. Thanks for learning about TSM crafting queues and gatherer. That's my video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments.